Three burials in three months, my third year of college. My mom, my granddad, and my grandma. This was my life-shattering reality while I was drowning in aerospace engineering classes at the University of Michigan. Where was the line on my resume for unwavering resilience forged in the fire of adversity and grief? The truth is, the most valuable skills we gain often go unseen. We compartmentalize to fit into these Eurocentric narratives of success, showcasing the recognized work, but maybe not always the work that made us who we are. Let me introduce you to the concept of the unresume, an idea that dares to humanize the full spectrum of our experiences and aspirations beyond bullet points and job titles. Unlike traditional resumes, the unresume shows the work underneath the achievements, the unwavering challenges, the unwavering passion that defines your unique path. It's the hidden talents gained through life, a holistic approach to how we can perceive qualifications and potential. Now, in true nerdy engineering fashion, <laughs> I wanted to make my own resume an equation. The work equation. <laughs> work equals force times distance. <laughs> Stay with me now. <laughs> In physics, force is a push or pull on an object. And distance is the way, the way the object moves. When you multiply the force by the distance of the object, that's how work gets done. But in life, you're the object, and force is the challenges and opportunities that push or pull you. Your distance is your entire journey with all its detours. My own resume captures the real work, how I navigated through these challenges throughout my journey. Remember in school when teachers said, show your work? They wanted to see the process, the journey. <laughs> Resumes don't do that. They just want the answer. Resumes don't care about your journey, but the unresume shows the hidden part of the equation we often never see. Let me take you back to a day I'll never forget. Summer Bridge, freshman year, sitting in my first college advisor's office, sharing my dream of becoming an aerospace engineer. She looked at my resume, then back at me, and suggested I go for a less demanding major, maybe even consider a career in retail since I was accepted to the University of Michigan, but not as an engineering student. She said, just have fun here. Black girls from public schools don't normally make it this far. <laughs> Well-intentioned, I'm sure. <laughs> but her words hit me hard, a negative force. Although I had a stellar high school GPA and extracurricular accomplishments, it reminded me of another conversation I had with my high school advisor who said I wasn't University of Michigan material. It was clear my distance to my dream would be an uphill battle. And despite their perception, I was willing to do the work. It was a grueling five years of college. Yes, five years, not four. I wasn't just studying. I was surviving. My journey was filled with unexpected forces that could have easily taken me off my path. Academic setbacks, family loss, financial traumas, systemic barriers, even navigating a man-made water crisis in my hometown of Flint, Michigan. I felt like I was running the same race as my peers, but my lane was littered with landmines that job recruiters would never see. And it's not just me. Many of us from underserved communities navigate these 
hidden hurdles, hidden forces all the time, prolonging our ability to even see the results of our work. But the question is, how do our experiences translate to our professional capabilities? For me, it made me more bold. Every no on my job search was just a little more fuel that kept me going. <laughs> so much to the point where I walked into a private, invite-only recruitment event with a resume and GPA that, <laughs> let's just say, wasn't on the guest list. <laughs> a plus for Moxie, I put that on my own resume. Yeah. The recruiter who saw my resume was not impressed. Audacious and maybe a little delusional, I asked to meet the hiring manager. He responded, I don't think he's gonna wanna meet you. I persisted, that's okay. You can introduce me anyway. <laughs> now, when I met that hiring manager, he was quizzing me with technical questions I could answer, uh, 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 flawlessly. But then he asked me one unexpected question. Can you explain your path to get to this moment? And that's when the unresume appeared. I shared my story. He immediately realized my qualifications could not be quantified by a GPA. Qualities that any employer would love to see. Creative problem solving under pressure, resiliency in the face of adversity, committing to the plan while being adaptable. <laughs> I was hired. <laughs> Today, not only am I an engineer for that top aerospace company, I also pay it forward. I co-founded a nonprofit organization called Greater Than Tech, and we introduced <laughs> and we introduced middle and high school students from underserved communities to science, technology, engineering, math, and entrepreneurship. We aim to make the uncommon common. But wait, there's more. When we have job opportunities, we consider resumes and the unresumes, un because we know how, that's how you find the best candidates. For my students and job seekers, get comfortable with sharing your story. Connect with hiring managers as much as possible, and if the door doesn't quite open up for you, get a wrench, some bolts, and maybe a 3D printer. You may have to build your own door. <laughs> Hire managers. Don't just seek and scan the resume, look for the unresume. Look at candidates through an equitable lens. Your automated word scanner and number scanner only catches so much. It doesn't detect the real work, the unseen forces and an individual's journey. I know for me, if I hadn't shared my story and a hire manager wouldn't have listened, I would not be here today. And the last thing I'll say, the unresume doesn't replace the resume, it enhances it. Yeah. Resumes show the achievements, but the unresume show the real work. Together, they can humanize the hiring practice for the better. Thank you. Yeah.